up and welcome to Callum's Corner. So I've had a few messages asking me where a video is that I mentioned a little while ago that I might do, the losing my virginity video. Um, now I've gone back and forth on whether I should actually do it or not. I'm aware that some of my audience may be younger and I don't know whether it's an appropriate story for them. Um, I've decided to do it because a lot of my audience may actually be approaching this event themselves and it is something that is useful to talk about and hear what someone else's experience and advice about. So I've done it. Um, if this video is inappropriate, if someone could leave some comments below and tell me whether I should possibly age restrict it, I really don't know. I'm so clueless about YouTube. But I'm going to chat about it anyway and hopefully it will help you a little bit. So I've got two big pieces of advice for you. Number one, you need to know what you're going to do, basically, if you think you may be approaching that point of losing your virginity. You need to know where everything goes. Um, kind of, It's better to know different positions and the stuff that you might do. It's very hard to find that kind of material. I mean, you can read books on it, advice manuals and stuff. But let's be honest, I mean, for me anyway, when I was that age, the research I did was watching kind of adult videos. Um, now, it was much more difficult for me back then because the internet was not really a big thing. It was all dial-up. You couldn't just beep, boop, boop, and it was up on your screen. Um, it was really VHS tapes. And I borrowed one off my mate, um, and I hid it in my box of Peter Schmeichel's Greatest Moments. I don't know how, but it got discovered. My whole family around one afternoon. Someone put it in a video machine to check what it was before they taped something, and that came up. You know, some bloody moustache German guy with glasses going away. At, yeah, it was awful. It was a horrific moment. So be careful in your research. I mean, you've all got incognito mode, which is great for you. And the other thing is, if you are a guy, the you know harsh reality of it is that premature ejaculation may well play a part. Um, as a, someone who's kind of past their teenage years now, I can freely admit without embarrassment that it played a part for me in the first time. I mean, I was 16 at the time and it was New Year's Eve. Um, it was with a girl who I'd kissed a couple of times, but we weren't actually seeing each other. I was pretty intimidated because I was aware that she'd had sex before and I hadn't. Um, yeah, and we were in the park as well, which is a nightmare. Don't do it in a public place. I mean, it was deserted. It was really, really late. It was New Year's Eve. It was after midnight. Um, but yeah, it was still still a stupid idea to do it there. Um, but yeah, premature ejaculation, it did play a part. It was over very quickly. Now, I didn't want to admit to that to her because, like I say, I was aware that she seemed more experienced than me. And, you know, it's such a big thing that happens to you when you lose your virginity. If it does go wrong, you know, kids can be cruel, can't they? They can take the mick and stuff. So I think I made the right decision in not telling her. What I did to cover it up um, when I realised that it was imminent and it, happened i cried out not in kind of ecstasy i was like ow 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 i've got a cramp i've got a cramp booked her off and jumped up and held my leg and just whipped off the condom chucked it away into the bushes um yeah and pretended i had a cramp and at that age you're ready to go almost immediately again um so she was none the wiser and it covered up what could have been quite embarrassing for me um so yeah have yourself a cover story in case it does end, probably will end pretty quickly, to be honest with you. It does feel awesome. Nothing can prepare you for that feeling. Um, and don't feel bad about it. You know, like everything else in life, you know, the more you practice at something, the better you get. And the first time can be pretty traumatic. Um, so I would advise thinking of it as just your first time, not having massive expectations of it. It is just something that everyone has to kind of do and get out of the way that first time. Sounds awful because... I'm sure for some people it's awesome. Um, but yeah, don't have massive expectations. Anything's a bonus. And don't worry if it doesn't go well. There'll be plenty more opportunities. And have have do your research. And yeah, have a cover plan in case something does go wrong or it does end too early. That's pretty much all the advice I can give to you on that, really. Do join me later. I'll be doing a, another Fallout 4 stream because I'm really enjoying that at the moment. And I've killed the Deathclaw. I've killed that Afghan Dan looking Deathclaw.